Hello gamers, now welcome back to the second episode, well, the second episode of Let's Play, um, episode one, a brand new day of The Walking Dead. Well, we, as you know, we've just left the uh, Clem in the office. Barry's on the floor with um, Lily. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. She's not happy. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? <clears throat> I work up at UTA. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. And I've China. seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I'm gonna okay. get back to him now. Well, the Pepsi hey is there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. She definitely reminds me of someone I work with, that Carly woman. Now, I believe it's a girlfriend of a colleague of mine, but definitely reminds me of that person. Alright. How are we how's Doug doing? How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yes. This time Let's have a look around. Let's okay. Have a look. Right, well The Pepsi's full. Well, kind of. It's uh glass this time, so well, let's open the lock. Oh, hey what? man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Look, look. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Poor bugger. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. <laughs> TV store. Take I can't brick. reach that brick. Okay. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Damn. Well, let's get back inside, let's get then. back inside. Okay. Well, that's not much just doing any good out there. If we can't even get out of the grocery store. Seriously. Let's talk to Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Mm. Coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. 
So they're gonna go out the back door, and yet we can't go out the front door. Hello. Shit. Get down. Shit. Definitely looks like my ex. Well, that's a bloke, so yeah. <laughs> things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. Because hey, you showed out. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Whoop whoop. <laughs> it's below you saving damsel in distress. And the only thing I've got on me is three chocolate bars and a picture of my family. Nicely done. Talk about coming out, but I'm prepared. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. No one attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Oh, 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 oh. Who's behind that door? Those two seem to be on the scent. We can hide by that pickup. Let's move by the pickup, actually. That's my idea. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. That's really what I want to do. I want to have a look inside. Ooh. Hello. Ah. Up these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Um, fuck it and smash it. Ow. Maybe hey not. Man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Okay. It's still like. Ah. Uh, that'll be, be so easy if it was. I'll go back here again, I don't want to do that. Alright. So. Let's have a walk back over that way then. Do 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 Oh, 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 oh! Hey, Glenn's with me. What's up, then? Oh, shit. I ain't gonna... We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gone, and we can't use that much. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, let's uh, go back over there. We assessed it as. One, two, three, four, five zombies in total that we need to get rid of. So, I wonder. See, the, there's a pillow. Ah! 
I said a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Go over to the RV. Use a pillow. Pipe it can do that. That'd be an idea, wouldn't it? Hello, Mr. Zombie. You don't see me. I'll be visible because it is black. Right, okay. So about pick in the truck. Yes, we all know there's a thing in the truck. Use the pillow over the window. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Seriously, put the pillow up against. What are you gonna do with that? Ah. Oh. Don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. Oh! Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Use the pillow. Take it. Hello. Carly. Gun. Shoot. Thank you. That was sick. So that looks like my ex. Right. Push the car. Fuck it. Handbrake's on must be. Why is it always the handbrake has always got to be on? Hey. Take out gear. Um. Spark bar. Ooh. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come and hit it. It is. I just had a better idea. Spark plug makes window equals a quick little smash. Say goodnight, zombie. It was awesome. <laughs> okay. Perfect. 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 We can do this now. I think we can do it. Right. Spark plug. Just a little tap. Wait. What now? Let me see the spark plug. Inside these things turns carbon into tissue. Uh -huh. He is smart, isn't he? That definitely looks like my ex. He's got the eyes and everything. Right, screwdriver. Okay. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> that was a bit creepy. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. Let's make our way back over there. Where the drink was to do that. Mm. Okay, we'll go there. Pick round the corner. Head to the RV. Okay, let's have a quick. Here. Right here he comes. I'll wait for him to get closer. Now, no, stupid in the head. There we go. Um, Please, get him. yeah, okay, right, hang on, hang on. Gotcha. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Right. God, you really are an ugly fat right now. Shut the door. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Yeah, we're down. He's a bit holy at the moment. Thank you. Two more. That should help. Right. Slowly walk up the stairs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Oh, 
idea what would be going through his head right now. Um, shit. <laughs> exactly. What the fuck am I doing? Hello. How you doing? Come here out. Come on. A little closer. And your little boyfriend too. Rad. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. I'm not too quite sure about this. <clears throat> you might want to break through that board first. Yeah. Open door. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh God! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you. I Shit. said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Oh, dear. Give her the gun. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No. Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. <sighs> Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. <clears throat> you two go on. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. God bless God you. God bless you, all right? God bless you, too. There's any game I know telling a story, but from my line of work, that's everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Well, the thing is, does anyone know the code for the bloody lock on the door? Hey. Nah, it's not really I'm much I'm getting anymore. back to him now. Oh dear. I need to find this code door thingy. Now, 
I would not. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Seven fifty cops. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Well, let's uh, talk to Carly. Hey, Carly. Are you okay? That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. The IT guy. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? No, I know. All right. Oh, we still need to find the, you know, the, the code. How's Clem? Oh, Clem. Hey there. Hi. How's your finger? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Oh, no, I'm not your dad. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. <laughs> you know. We're gonna try oh. to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. Okay. Let's give... Well, I can't even give her a chalky bell. Maybe Glenn might know the code for the door. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Ah, here we go. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. <laughs> You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Really? I've got to break it? Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. He doesn't like me at the moment. Oh, there's a lot not a lot of people who do like me at the moment, but hey, let's give um let's give Carly a Lily it's a not much but here. Bar. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. Have a look in the office quickly. This way, I'll probably find hundreds of zombies. Maybe not. Right, we've got that cane. So if we grab the axe, actually, there's no, no. Okay, no. Hang on. I just realised something. Why am I going there when I have an axe in my inventory? I don't know where I put it in my pocket. I think I can break that lock off. Get that brick, throw it out that window. The zombies will then go after it, and that gives me a moment to get the keys. Oh, Dougie. Dougie, where are they? There you are. How are we doing? Good. You want to go, go have outside. a look around outside? Let's, Let's have, a look. have a look around. Okay. Right. Okay, let's break the lock. This ain't gonna be good. Turn on that. Awesome. 
Now to distract those things. Right. Carefully. Yes, what we do, we grab you have the brick. That brick. Well, open the fucking door a little bit then. No, a little bit, not the... Okay, we we'll grab... <coughs> and then we... <laughs> Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. It'd be <laughs> nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. Okay. Found the brick at the TV store. I'm doing this much younger. Vandalism. Nice. I got an idea. I need some out of. Let's go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. I must be missing something. They're not going to go for that. Okay, we can't really keep it that long, can we? Um. Stationery. Perfumes. Plan family planning. Toilet. thinking. If there's a TV in here, maybe there might be a remote control. Let's have a look. Oh yeah! It's the remote to my dad's TV. Right. Well, I did this long way round. Let's switch on those TVs, get those keys, get that medicine for him. Larry and uh yeah. Well everything should be, be alright. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look around. Okay. Woo! So this works. Think Damn. you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, yeah. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh, they're getting interested in the TVs. Now's the time. Just fucking run over there. At least I've got the axe. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Let me make the choice. Thanks. <laughs> Poor bugger. Oh, fuck. 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 
Bloody hell, he's got a thick neck. Go for the brain in the first place. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Oh shit! Run, run, run like a motherfucker. Come on, come on, run, run. And we've broken the lock off so we can't exactly lock the doors. That's Man, that was close. Not good though. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. So as quick as we can. Oh no. Shit. We gotta Shit. hurry. Let's hope it's an inter let's just hope it's an internal alarm. It's not an internal alarm. Does she know she's got a screwdriver in her back? She may have a screw loose. Ah, that's okay. Right, let's grab it. Oh, Frank. Oh, that will get me my base for a little while. Doug's in immediate danger, we'll have to save him quickly. Come on, Carly. No! Holy Let's go! Carly! They got Carly! Run. Uh, 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 
son of a bitch! No! Ow. Somebody else get eaten today. Thank you so Especially much, Carly. Good friend. I'm sorry, Carly. Screams coming from there as well. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I can't believe Connie's gone. I think, I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Yeah, you too, mate. Too bad he couldn't leave us a pizza. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Earlier, I uh, mentioned you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's parents don't show. Yeah, you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showed up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. <laughs> That's a piece of confidence. Talk to Doug. How you doing, Doug? Doug? Yeah, so we too. couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. She liked you too. She liked you too. Thankfully. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. Oh, you picked me. God, don't ask me that. I was, gonna help I was you going both. to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. Me too. She had a gun. That's bad way to put it. Sort of duck and clam. 
Pokemon had this mini gun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine! I'm so sorry, thing. Clem. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, fine huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. He's not a nice person. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Ah, oh, hell. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits.